This segment of Panther Sports Talk is brought to you by Agape Therapy. The UNI football team has four different players that are finalists for top FCS individual honors. LJ Fort and Ben Boothby are up for the Buck Buchanan Award given to the top defensive player, while Terrell Rennie is on the Walter Payton ballot for top offensive player, and David Johnson is a finalist for the Jerry Rice Award that will be given to the best freshman in FCS football. Those four players, along with many other teammates, have already received some all-conference mention. Brad Wells breaks it down. The Panthers earned their 16th Missouri Valley Football Conference Championship this season and for their efforts placed 10 different Panthers to the all-MVFC teams this season and placed six on the first team. Senior linebacker LJ Ford leads that list as he was named to the MVFC Defensive Player of the Year. He's tied for number two in the nation in total tackles and leads the conference. He also ranks number two in the nation for forced fumbles on the year. He's on the watch list for the Buck Buchanan Award that goes to the top defensive player in the country. Ben Boothby, also a finalist for the Buck Buchanan Award, was placed on the first team All-MVFC defensive team. The senior defensive lineman led you and I with seven and a half sacks and leads the conference with 15 and a half tackles for a loss. Boothby was also recognized as the State Farm Good Neighbor Award recipient and is a three-time first team academic All-District selection. Junior defensive back Varma Sony was also a first-team all-conference pick for the Panthers. Sony pulled in three interceptions and had six pass breakups and a forced fumble on the year. He notched 12 tackles in the win over Stephen F. Austin. Offensively, on the first-team all-MVFC, quarterback Terrell Rennie got the nod, ranking third in the league in total offense. He passed for over 1,500 yards, had 11 TDs, and only two interceptions on the year. He also added nine rushing touchdowns and leads the UNI team in rushing yards. He's up for the Walter Payton Award that goes to the top player in FCS, and Terrell was runner-up in the MVFC Offensive Player of the Year voting. Senior offensive lineman Jay Templey was named to the first-team all-conference starting all 11 games and helped UNI average 169 rushing yards per game. Also on the first team place kicker, Tyler Sievertson. The sophomore kicker was 17 for 18 on field goals this year. He hit eight field goals from 40 yards or further and is the only player in FCS to not miss a point after touchdown. On the second team all MVFC is senior linebacker Jordan Smith. Smith was the Panthers' second leading tackler and ranked fifth in the league with 109 on the year. He led you and I with four interceptions and had 16 tackles on two different occasions. Defensive end Darren Branch and return specialist Jared Herring were both named to the honorable mention team. Herring had an average of 25 yards per return for you and I. He was the second leading receiver and his three touchdown receptions included an 80-yarder in the conference win over South Dakota State. Darren Branch wrestled down five and a half sacks and had three quarterback hurries on the season. David Johnson was named to the MVFC's all-newcomer team as the freshman from Clinton, Iowa, was the seventh leading rusher in the conference. He led the UNI Panthers in three different categories, receptions, total touchdowns with 11, and over 1,100 all-purpose yards. He's up for the inaugural Jerry Rice Award, handed to the top freshman in FCS. 